This video will guide you through the Debonair Air Spring Upgrade Procedure for RockShox Solo Air and Debonair, Yari, 2016 and newer Lyric, and all 35mm Pike and Revelation forks. The new Debonair spring reduces friction from every single moving part, improving bump absorption and response under load, and drastically reducing rider fatigue. In this video, we will be upgrading a pike fork, but the process is nearly the same for all forks. View a list of necessary parts, tools, and supplies in the video description below. And for more information, go to sram.com forward slash service. Before beginning, record the air pressure level in your air spring as well as the rebound setting. This information will be used to reset your fork to your desired settings. Remove the wheel from the bicycle according to the wheel manufacturer's instructions. Remove the brake caliper and hose from the fork and place them out of the way. Remove the air valve cap, depress the Schrader valve and release all air pressure. Verify all air pressure is removed from the fork before proceeding. Failure to do so can result in injury and or damage to the fork. Wear safety glasses. Remove the rebound adjuster knob. If your adjuster knob has a set screw, Loosen but do not remove the screw, then remove the knob. Place an oil pan beneath the fork to catch the draining oil. Use a 5mm hex wrench to loosen both bottom bolts 3-4 to four turns. Strike the wrench to dislodge the shaft from the lower leg on each side, and remove the bolts. Firmly pull the lower leg downward until fluid begins to drain. Continue pulling downward to remove the lower leg. If the lower leg does not slide off of the upper tube or if fluid does not drain from either side, the press fit of the shaft to the lower leg may still be engaged. Reinstall the bottom bolts two to three turns and repeat the previous step. Do not hit the fork arch with any tool when removing the lower leg, as this could damage the fork. Remove the air spring top cap. Rotate the bicycle so that the bottom of the upper tubes and air spring tab are easily accessible. Push the seal head tab into the upper tube and under the retaining ring. Use internal retaining ring pliers to squeeze the retaining ring, then carefully remove it from the air spring shaft. Thread the lower leg bolt into the bolt hole and wrap a towel around the end of the air shaft. Push the shaft into the upper tube, then quickly and firmly pull the shaft out to dislodge the seal head. Clean the inside and outside of the upper tube. Inspect it for damage. Scratches on the inside surface of the upper tube can cause air to leak. If an internal scratch is visible, the crown steerer upper tube assembly may need to be replaced. Apply a liberal amount of grease evenly around the end of a clean plastic dowel, approximately 150 millimeters from one end. Use the dowel to apply the grease to the inside surface of the upper tube, approximately 150 millimeters into the tube. Apply a liberal amount of grease to the new Debonair air spring shaft, the new seal head inner seal, and the air piston and seal head outer O-rings and seals. Insert the air spring assembly into the upper tube. Firmly push the seal head into the upper tube and press until it stops. One side of the retaining ring has a sharp edge. With the sharp side facing outward, guide the retaining ring onto the air shaft to the seal head. Push the seal head into the upper tube while installing the retaining ring into the groove. Confirm the retaining ring is properly seated in the groove by using the pliers to rotate the ring and seal head back and forth. Spray RockShox suspension cleaner on the upper tubes and clean them with a towel. Review the Debonair upgrade manual at www.sram.com forward slash service to determine the proper bottomless token recommendations for your fork model. Grease, then install the air spring top cap into the upper tube and tighten it. Now is a great opportunity to perform a 50-hour service procedure on your lower legs. Click the link to watch a video on the process.
Clean, then grease the inner surface of the wiper seals. Slide the lower leg onto the upper tube enough to engage the upper bushing with the upper tube. Make sure both wiper seals slide onto the tubes without folding the outer lip of either seal. The inside of the lower leg should not contact the spring or damper shafts. A gap between the shaft ends and lower leg bolt holes should be visible. On the damper side, you will only inject 5 cc's of oil into the lower leg if 5 cc's is printed on the original bottom bolt. All other forks require 10 cc's. Do not exceed the printed amount. Angle the syringe fitting into the lower leg bolt hole so the oil will only contact the inside of the lower leg. Inject 10 cc's into the spring side bolt hole. Do not exceed the recommended oil volume per leg as this can damage the fork. Slide the lower leg assembly along the upper tubes until it stops and the spring and damper shafts are visible through the lower leg bolt holes and centered. Install the hollow bottom bolt into the damper side shaft of the lower leg. Install the solid bottom bolt into the spring side shaft of the lower leg. Torque both bottom bolts to the specification listed in your fork service manual. Install the rebound adjuster knob. If your rebound adjuster knob has a set screw, press inward on the knob as you tighten the screw. Spray RockShox suspension cleaner on the entire fork and clean it with a towel. Reinstall the brake caliper and hose. Then the wheel according to the manufacturer's instructions. Refer to your pre-service recorded rebound setting to adjust the rebound. In most cases, you'll need to add an additional 10 PSI to your original air pressure. Pressurize the fork to your original air pressure, then perform a sag procedure to dial in your ride. Install the air valve cap. This concludes the Debonair Spring Upgrade Procedure for RockShox Pike, Revelation, Lyric, or Yari forks.